your name? Uh, Margaret. And what grade are you in? I'm seventh grade. Seventh grade, and you? It's Griffin. I'm also in seventh grade. You're seventh grade. And, uh, wow. Got a little noisy there. Let me ask you something. Do you understand how the electoral college works? Uh, we do. Um, I'm sorry, we have to go. Um, well, can we can something. you tell me how the electoral college yeah, works? Yeah, there's, there's all these states, and depending on their population, they go, um, they go, um, they, um, they get a certain amount of votes. Um, and you see, our Constitution states that the states shall elect the president. It's not a popular vote, so it's set up electoral yeah, college states, yeah. based upon how many representatives and uh, senators they have in each state. Mm -hmm. So if, if they have spoken, why miss school? I'm just curious. Yeah, I have no idea. I, I have to go. Sorry. Okay, well, it's a free country. <laughs> but remember, I saw at the front of this protest, mm -hmm. Uh, disrespecting an American flag, there's a lot of men, women in the uniform that fought for that flag. Look at here, they're bringing me some water. Thank you. Look who we have here, the newest walking veteran. He's been an instrumental inspiration. And he's helped me pull that As a head. citizen in good standing of Henrietta, Oklahoma, had displayed the true nature of what makes Henrietta a great place to live. And whereas Daniel Cox saw that while the walking veteran was walking into Henrietta on a hot and humid day, that he would take him two bottles of cold water, help him with nourishment and hydration. And whereas Daniel Cox again had noticed that the walking veteran was struggling in the summer heat with fixing a flat tire on his historic and iconic wagon, have assistance without reservation. And whereas Daniel Cox had given up an opportunity for a day of swimming to assist the walking veteran by pulling his wagon for him through the city of Henrietta. And whereas Daniel Cox, by having lunch with the walking veteran, took the leadership in offering a very sincere and heartfelt prayer for the walking veteran, the military members presently serving and for all veterans. And whereas Daniel Cox had rendered the city of Henrietta in a very favorable manner and personified the greatness of the people of, the Hen of Henrietta, an everlasting bond had been created between the walking veteran, the people of Henrietta, and the walking veteran's friend, Daniel Cox Jr., walking veteran. And whereas the selfish acts of sacrifice, compassion, kindness, patriotism, caring, and Henrietta hospitality towards Thomas Hudson, the walking veteran, as he walked into our city, is worthy of making this day, July 8, 2016, the Daniel Cox Day in Henrietta, Oklahoma. Now, therefore, I, Jennifer Clayson, Mayor of the City of Henrietta, Oklahoma, do hereby proclaim July 8, 2016, as Daniel Cox Day. Let me tell you about what Daniel did. This summer, the um, walking...
walking veteran had came through Henrietta. He was not feeling good that day. His tire on his wagon was messed up. Daniel could have went swimming that day, but what he did is he chose to go help him. He brought the man water. He helped him fix his wheel. He had lunch with the man. He prayed with the man. And he also helped carry his wagon through town. So Daniel, in honor of Daniel, the town of Henrietta proclaimed a day. It's called the Daniel Cox Day. And one of the things I like that it says, it says that his selfless act of sacrifice, compassion, <coughs> kindness, patriotism, and caring was hospitality toward the Thomas Hudson, the walking veteran. And because of that, on July 8th, they have proclaimed it to be the Daniel Cox Day. Isn't that really exciting? Yes. He helped the walking veteran with his flight, with his uh, wagon. He also took an opportunity to have lunch with the gentleman, and while he was there having lunch with him, he offered a prayer, a prayer for the walking veteran and all military members present, and all military members around serving our great country. Folks, this is a very special young man, and we want to recognize him here today. So Daniel, the citizens of Walika want to recognize you for your selfish acts of sacrifice, your compassion, your kindness, and your patriotism. And at this time, the mayor of Walika, Kevin Brill, is going to present you with the Walika Citizen of the Year plaque. Folks, uh, let's give this young man a hand that he deserves. As the mayor of Little Rock, uh, Arkansas, I want to thank Daniel Cox for what he's doing as a young man to help our veterans and certainly to proclaim uh, Daniel Cox Day here in the city of Little Rock. Hello, this is Thomas Hudson, walking veteran right here in Winfield, Alabama. Oh my goodness, we got another couple of walking veterans right here. Let me get up and see who is pulling my wagon. Hello, what is your name? Candy. Who? Candy. Candy. You know what? I bet you that's your mom, right? Yes. And what's your name? Melissa. Melissa. You know, you brought me this. Could you open it up? I want to. Did you draw that yourself? Yes. You did. Do you know that means a lot to me? Hello, this is Thomas Hudson, the Walking Better, right here in Chester, Virginia. I want uh, everybody to notice something here. I got some help today. I invited everybody to come out and walk with me. And I got some volunteers up here. Oh my goodness, we got a young walking veteran here. And what's your name? Teresa. Teresa. And uh, are you in school? Yeah, I go to Elizabeth Scott. And what grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth grade, you tall. Well, you notice, uh, I notice you got a walking veteran vest on because safety is number one, right? Yeah. And did you learn anything from the walking veteran? Um, yeah. Well, let me ask you something. I'm going to give you a little pop quiz since this is school, right? Okay. Now, I want you to come back here. Do you know anything about these flags back here? Um, these are for the militaries. Um, and what, uh... What branch would that one be? Um, Marine. The Marines, you got that right? Navy. Navy? Wow. Um, uh, Army. Wow. Air Force and American Flag. 
Well, here's one plaque I'm going to show you back here. I'm going to see if you know anything about that because we didn't talk about that one. Do you know what that plaque is? Um, what that stands for? Uh, that right there, the POW stands for a prisoner of war. MIA stands for a missing in action. And down here it says, you are not begotten. This is the flag that we use to in honor of those that were prisoners of wars and that missing in action that never did come home. But they fought. They fought for this country so that you and I can have the rights that we enjoy today. Yeah, and freedom. And freedom. Let's see who is pulling the walking veteran wagon here. <laughs> and who do we have here? What's your name again? Layla Burrell. Wow, you're doing a fine job there. And uh, who is this? Layla Burrell, mother of Layla Burrell. Oh, well, <laughs> let me ask you something. Did you learn uh, anything from uh, the walking veteran? Yes. And uh, what did you learn? And it stands for what? You are not forgotten. Oh my goodness. Look here. I got some little walking batteries right here. Let's get up here and see who we got. Oh my, hey, hold on a minute. Well, I see y'all all decked out in safety vests. And what's your name? Savannah. Savannah? And what's your name? Olivia. And how old are you? Four. Four? Wow. And how old are you? Five. Five. You in uh, what? Kindergarten? Uh-huh. Kindergarten. And I want to ask you, who is that up there? What you learned? Okay, let's go over here with her. What flag is that? This is a, um, marine. marine. Okay. This is the Navy. And what did you say that was? I mean, this one right here, that was the what? Army. Oh, that's the Army right there. Yeah. This is And what other flag do I have on here that we talked about? Wow. Not forgetting. Not what? Not forgetting. Not forgetting. I like that. But it's actually not forgotten, but you got it down.